Welcome back to Crypto Warehouse. My name is Mike and today I'm going to show you my two favorite wallets to use on Solana. We've been asked to make this video because we've been making a lot of videos in the last few weeks about airdrops, especially on Solana. We've talked about Gito, Jupiter, we've talked about Camino Finance, we've talked about Bonk, we've talked about Ponk, we've talked about all the meme coins especially those that are starting to do airdrops on the Solana blockchain. So what we thought we would do, and in conjunction with a question from a community member, is we've decided to show you not one, but two of our favorite Solana wallets. Before we do that, can we please ask you to like and subscribe to Crypto Warehouse and help us grow the channel? Now, the first thing you need to understand before installing any wallet is you need to take correct security procedures. What do I mean by that? Every single wallet, MetaMask, Phantom, Soulflare, and the rest, they will all give you an eight to 16 word key phrase. Whatever you do, you don't store that online. Write it down on a piece of paper, store it in a safe deposit box. You can buy devices where you can etch them into it. Whatever it might be, do not put your key phrase, seed phrase anywhere near your computer or your mobile phone. And please don't take a picture of it on your mobile phone. That's the worst thing you can do. Now, the second thing is hot wallets, as these are now referred to, these are the least safest place for you to store your crypto. In order, you should be keeping them on a Trezor or a Ledger. We have an affiliate link down below for Ledger. You should be keeping them on a top tier one exchange, such as Binance, for example, with your anti-phishing, your two-factor authentication, and your uh, mobile phone attached to it. They are the two safest places for your crypto. Hot wallets, they are to be used when you need to actively trade on Solana. You, whether you want to go buy NFTs, take part in airdrops, whether you want to use the DeFi platforms, they shouldn't be used to store the majority of your crypto wealth. It is the least safest place. I cannot stress that enough. We will leave a link below to an article showing you what a hot wallet is and explaining why it's the, the worst place to keep your money, in fact. However, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Phantom and we're here to talk about Soulflare. The reason there are two today is my favorite wallet is Phantom. Brogan's favorite wallet is Soulflare. It would be unfair for me to give this video and not include both people's opinions. Now, the one thing to bear in mind about Soulflare and Phantom are they are very simple and they pretty much do the same thing you can have your crypto you can have your nfts they do news updates you can stake your solana on the blockchain directly through both of these wallets they are in all intents and purposes the same except for me i prefer the user interface of phantom i find it easy to use and in addition to that i have made a video about a month ago explaining that there is a potential free phantom airdrop in the future there is an opportunity for you to get a free airdrop of phantom tokens if and when they decide to launch their own token now in the video i explain some very simple steps that you need to take on phantom you need to carry out a transaction you need to transfer funds in you need to mint an nft you need to do all of these things to try and generate a footprint so when they do the airdrop you will be eligible the other benefit of phantom is there are other chains available to you as well as solana you have ethereum you also have polygon available to you so you can create a hub for all of your hot wallet assets your ethereum your matic your ethereum uh, layer 2 coins your solana coins your meme coins whatever it might be you can keep them all in the same place and finally, Phantom is available on all browsers as well as all mobile phones. It's available on the Android and it's available on the App Store. So it's a top tier wallet. In my opinion, it's the best wallet in the market. It's better than MetaMask in my opinion. The second wallet that I would recommend is Soulflare. Soulflare is Brogan's preferred wallet. As I said at the start, mine is Phantom, Brogan's is Soulflare exactly the same utility available on Solana. The UI is clean, you can stake natively on the Solana blockchain, you can see all of your tokens and all of your NFTs in one place. 
A nice feature with Soulflare is the ability to connect the Soulflare wallet with Ledger or Trezor. This is a nice touch. And as well as that, there are other security features they have in place, which I, which I must admit are a little bit better than Phantom. It takes something to admit you were wrong. Something else you get and you might prefer as a beginner, if you are a beginner, is there is live chat 24 seven, very similar to MetaMask. You can connect to a chat, you can talk through your problems and they will try and help you. This isn't available on Phantom as far as I can see. So Soulflare does win. In this case, there is- Oh, I want again. No way. <laughs> There's also the Academy. Phantom has its own medium where you can read about airdrops, whatever. Soulflare has its own, it's called an Academy. And just like Phantom, it's available on all browsers. It's available on the App Store and it's available on Google Play. One thing to mention about both wallets is of course, they are completely free. There is no charge for either of these two apps. Now what I must stress, you must use the official links to Soulflare and Phantom. There have been cases in the past where dummy versions of Soulflare and Phantom have been added to the App Store. You install them, you connect, you send your funds across to the fake wallet, and then your funds are drained. So make sure that you use the official Soulflare website or the official Phantom website. Again, I will leave links in the description below. So there you have it, our two favorite wallets to use if you're going to take part in the Solana airdrop season, Phantom and Soulflare, both equally as good as each other. One I prefer, one Brogan prefers, both are hot wallets, always take full security audits on everything you do. Only use them to transact on the chains. Do not store your wealth there. Do not store your Solana there. Stake your Solana natively. If you're on an exchange, use the exchange to stake it or use your Ledger or your Trezor if you've got a hardware wallet. And remember, the one last thing you can do to help us out is like and subscribe to Crypto Warehouse. I have been Mike. You have been great. We will see you in the next video.